Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. Uh, it is about 7.45 in the morning, and I am headed to my ear appointment for my ear this morning. And funny thing is, I woke up and, hold on, let me fix this adjustment. Yeah, that's still not working. Alrighty, so anyway, um, I woke up this morning and um, jumped in the shower. It was like 5.50 or something that I jumped in the shower. Anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, um, I realized that my ear isn't as blocked as it had been the past couple of days. So I was like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, I can't, I can't cancel the appointment, you know, because if you, it's 24 hours in advance, you have to cancel appointment. So anyway, and I'm not like, I wasn't going to cancel it anyway because even though I'm trying to get this out of the way so it's not blowing air in the microphone because then it makes noise. Um, so I was just trying to, like, it's still, it's not as blocked as it was. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, it's just hurting. It just hurts. It's so bizarre. It's like I don't ever, ever have earaches or anything like that and like this past four days or so has just been absolutely miserable so i don't know i'm still going um because i just want to tell her that it has been blocked and you know it's sometimes like yesterday morning i kind of woke up and it wasn't like block blocked um but then like throughout the day it got blocked and it was like worse all day long um, and I'm afraid like today is going to be like the same thing. Like it's just going to get progressively worse and I'm just going to get like blocked up again. So like I said, I'll just have her look at it and see what she says or thinks or see what she sees. And, um, I don't know if it's like a sinusy thing, but again, I never, ever, ever have had issues with my ear or anything like that and I don't even remember if I told you guys that you know I had went to the ENT um you know in regards to my you know dizziness or whatever that I was having um but they did like a hearing test on my ears and I passed you know with flying colors like I didn't have any like issues with hearing um but she shoved those things like so far down in my ear for the test that I was just like, ow, maybe like she, you know, earwax or something got pushed in there that just didn't need to be that far down. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll all figure it all out. And then after I'm done with um, my appointment, I am going to run to Old Navy because the other day I had ran into Old Navy um, and picked up a few things. Nothing, nothing major exciting. And uh, I bought a pair of like um, ivory jogging pants and I got home. And stupid me, you have to pay attention at Old Navy. You have to pay attention at Old Navy because although the hanger itself may say the size, small, medium, large, extra large, extra large, whatever, um, just because the, the hanger says it doesn't mean that, that the clothing that you have on that hanger is that size. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, I got home and I... <laughs> was gonna try them on and you know put them on I was folding or not folding I was taking them out of the bag because I was gonna throw them in the washing machine to try them on and I noticed that they were a size medium your girl can't wear a medium <laughs> so yeah I was like what who can wear these like I don't even know anybody who could wear those my mom maybe no my mom probably couldn't wear a medium either um but anyway no she probably could wear a medium my sister could probably wear a medium I don't know anyway nonetheless your girl can't. This girl cannot. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I have them in the back here so I can take them back. And then um, I wanted, so I'm going to take those back and return them, um, get a different size. And then I'm going to stop off at Dick's Sporting Goods because the other day we were in there as well. Brian and I went in there, I think Sunday afternoon. And we got Brian some new shoes. And of course, your girl was looking at some shoes. And I'm like, these are so cute um so <laughs> i'm gonna go in there today and go get the possibly two pair of shoes that i absolutely loved i fell in love with while i was in there 
and then I'm gonna swing by um, I'll probably do this first though swing by Buff City soap and do a refill on my containers because you can see they're back there so I need to do a refill on my containers and then go to Dick's and then come home. And then tonight, Brian and I thought we would go to uh, Fusion Barbecue, um, but um, there's calling for some severe thunderstorms and stuff later on, and um, they could get severe. They could get severe. He said possible tornado, but not likely. But anything could spawn up. So boy, we're just deciding. We're just debating right now so anyway so yeah i'm gonna go do those few things and i will touch base with you guys once i am finished in the doctor's office and i'll kind of let you guys know what the deal is quite honestly it actually is like not like right now i would say it's not um clogged blocked but it is hurting so like it's like a hurting inside so anyway i'll keep you guys posted see ya all righty guys so i am done with the doctor I do have an ear infection. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Like me going to the ENT last week for the first time ever in my entire life and then leaving, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, leaving there and ending up with an ear infection. What, what, what? So um, she's sending over an antibiotic a steroid basically for my ear so I'm gonna swing by and pick that up on my way home <coughs> and um anyway so I just went to Old Navy returned those joggers and um got the size that I need for the big girl and um I actually ended up picking up a pair of socks or a set of socks like Halloween socks super fun and then a cute little like um uh what is that material i don't know the material i can't remember the name of the material anyway just a cute little like jacket like zipper up jacket which i probably will never ever zipper it up probably not ever i don't know but it's like a pretty maroon color and i just thought oh that's so pretty oh is it maroon no 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 it's more like that um i'm i have the name for it and i just can't think of it oh like terracotta color almost like a dark terracotta but anyway i got that so that's it and i walked out of there with those three things and that's all i did and now i'm gonna head to buff city soap i think if it's open i'm gonna check on my app and see if it's open or my phone and see if it's open and then we're gonna go to dicks get those other shoes and let me just tell you really quick i have had so many compliments today on my outfit and twice on the shoes that i'm wearing and the shoes that I'm wearing well that light didn't stay green long um the shoes that i'm wearing are just from amazon and they are just like those the tan and black like tennis shoes so cute and so comfortable but the guy i think he was security or he was a cop i didn't like really pay attention but anyway nonetheless um <clears throat> he's like oh cute shoes and i'm like what guy compliments a woman on her shoes especially with the tennis shoes he goes those look like new balances but i know they're not i go no they're not i said they're from amazon and he goes, well, those are cute. Those will look really great. I'm like, I, that's so funny. Like a guy, I'm like, what? Who are you? Like, that's so funny. But anyway, nonetheless, he's probably hitting on me. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. All I know is he was standing there and um, he commented on my shoes. And then, of course, then the doctor herself commented on my, like, outfit and my shoes and everything. So I was like, dang, man. Um, and she's got it going on today with her fashion. Um, anywho, but I will put the picture of the shoes in right here because they are super cute. And then I'll leave a link to them in the description box below because they are amazing. I actually put them on my Instagram the other day too when I, um, wore the, the other day with my outfit. And basically I just have a pair of leggings on, black leggings with a black shirt. And then of course like this little sweater and then my shoes but they all match they, they all match so perfectly i guess that's what makes it so count but anyway nonetheless um headed to buff city and uh we're gonna see if they're open and if not then we're just gonna go to dick's and go back home that's what i think i'm gonna do Alrighty, so I went to Dick's and I got the one pair of shoes because the other one they didn't have in my size. They said they could order them. I'm like, nah, I'm not worried about it. Um, but these are just like super cute. I'm going to show you guys what they are. They are a New Balance. Um, look. They're like a tan color. 
Oh my gosh, I love them. They'd actually look really cute with even what I have on now. But I don't know what it is about these like fun, like tennis shoes. They are just so like fun and stylish to wear right now, ladies. And I like, I know I need more shoes, right? Um, but oh my gosh, those are amazing. So got me some shoes. I almost, they have some really cute like boot booties in there. Um, I could get like all three colors, the black, the brown and the tan, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna go pick up my prescription and um, head home. I think I might stop by Chick-fil-A on the way home and grab some breakfast as long as my prescription is ready. If it's not ready, then I'll go to Chick-fil-A, then I'll go home and then I'll come back out later to get the prescription. Stuff you guys probably don't care to hear, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So, all right, let's go see if that prescription is ready. Alrighty, so I am finally home after waiting forever in line at Walgreens to pick up my script. <laughs> but I started my meds already and it's like, today is like six days of pills and tomorrow's five days of pills and four, three, two, and one. So hopefully I am on the right track with trying to get rid of this earache and the infection that I have in my ear. Like, go figure. All right, quickly I wanted to show you the things that I did pick up at Old Navy. I wanted to show you the socks. I wanted to show you my um, little jacket. I'm trying to get the socks together here so you can like see them a little bit better. And my little jacket and my um, jogging pants that I'm trying, trying to get the socks. Okay. Um, and the jogging pants that I picked up that were too small and now they're perfectly fine, I hope. Anyway. Um, so here are the socks. I just got, it's a three pack. Um, this one is just black, this is boo on them. And then this one has just like a haunted house on it with, or I wouldn't say haunted house, I would just say spooky house maybe, with little pumpkins. And then this one has little cats on it. So I love these, I think they're just so, so fun. So I will definitely be wearing these, especially like on Halloween, I'll wear them. Um, even though we're gonna be in South Carolina. Um, <laughs> the little like jacket that I got was this thing. Oh, Sherpa, maybe this is like Sherpa. I think that's what it is. But anyway, I just love this color and I just thought it would be so nice to wear, especially like on a chilly day um, underneath or with a shirt, a black shirt or something underneath it. Um, but I actually um, think I might also wear it with like these maybe. But these are the little joggers that I got. These are like super nice like ivory joggers with little, you know, elastic down at the bottom, elastic waist, tie waist as well. So I'm gonna go throw these in the wash machine and get these all washed up. That way I can have them for the weekend. Um, and uh, let's see. Also, I stopped off at Publix really quick and picked up a few things there. Um, some milk um, and then some chocolate milk. You guys, this is like the best chocolate milk that we've ever had. And so we are addicted to it now, um, but it's a fair life. Um, ultra filtered lactose free milk. It is so good, but we always get the white milk as well, but now we get the chocolate. Um, so I got two and two of those and then I got some eggs and I got some brown sugar and I got some like fresh because I don't know how fresh my flour is. So this is the gluten-free measure for measure flour by King Arthur. Um, I'm gonna dump out my old stuff and put the new stuff in that way it's nice and fresh. Um, I picked up some heavy whipping cream because I wanna try to make creme brulee. So it calls for that. Um, I picked up some more of my vegetable oil. And then I saw these, which I think this is the first time that I've ever seen them in the Bob's Red Mill. This is gluten-free baking mix, and they're for biscuits, I believe. So I'm excited. Yeah, see, biscuits. Two eggs, um, a cup of buttermilk. So I'm excited about that. Even though I did get biscuits the other day. You can make pancakes, too. Um, I did get biscuits the other day that were already pre-made from Mason Dixon. But we had them for breakfast the other day, and they weren't like... They were good, but they weren't like, you know, soft and fluffy. Um, some pure, pure vanilla extract because again, I'm just trying to refresh all of my stuff for baking for the season. Um, these, because these are amazing. These are like little packets, six one cup packets of gluten-free flour. And these are so nice to have, especially if you just need one cup of flour, you just pull them out of the little pouches. Um, I've bought these before and the ones that I have are expired. So I just thought, well, 
time to get some more um, chili mix. So this is um, white chicken chili, even though you can, you can, it has all kinds of different stuff. They have different ones anyway, but these are gluten free and it says so like right down there on the bottom, if you can see that, it says gluten free, come on. I'm trying to get it to focus so you can see where it says gluten free. Hold up, let's see. Gluten free, gluten free. There it is, it says gluten free. So I picked up a kit for myself and a kit for my friend who I'm gonna take, who I'm gonna take um, this to um, who lives in Georgia. So I um, got those and I got some like butter. This is um, like regular salted butter. This is unsalted butter, again, for baking. We were out of regular like spread butter and this is like the one that I always like to use which is Brummel and Brown. It's made with real yogurt. It's always so good. Um, I picked up some lemons and um, these lemons will probably be the ones that I also take with me on our trip because I like to have lemons in my water and that's how I drink a ton of water is just always having lemons available. So lemons. And that is my like little haul from Publix. And I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna throw that stuff in the wash machine and try to figure out something that I'm gonna do. Besides, I know I have to clean my bathroom because I said I was going to, but I just don't feel like it. So I don't know if I'm gonna do my bathroom today. I might do it tomorrow. Yeah, I might do it tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, what, we'll see where the day takes me. Um, but for now, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I did not get my bathroom done today. I just kind of got busy doing some other things and kind of helping Brian out with a few things as well this afternoon. Um, I didn't even make it my bed today because I had to be at the doctor so early this morning and then just came home and just like, to heck with it, why would I do it? It's already afternoon, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the story. But anyway, that's it. Um, I am going to wrap this up and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today. I took some medication, I'm hoping it kicks in. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. It's still, oof. But anyway, keeping fingers crossed. I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.